So in verses 17, and whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God mm -hmm. and the Father by him. By him. <laughs> right. By, by him. him. By Jesus. The, the Bible said that Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus the Christ, he is the only mediator between man and God. Only. Only. You've got to say in the name of Jesus. Other than that, you don't have, you don't have power of attorney. That's a good word to use. Amen. You don't, have, you don't use the name of Jesus. You don't have the power of attorney to call on God or Amen. to come into his presence. Amen. <laughs> because God has made faith in his son a criteria for access to him. Right. Read it sometime in Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 1 through 5. Now, I've read in your hearing three passages of scriptures, Colossians 3, 17, which tells us that if you want to go to God, you have to go through Jesus. Amen. And 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 15, tell you to study to so yourself approve a workman who needeth not be ashamed to rightly divide, rightly, rightly. divide the word of truth. And then 1 Timothy 3, 16 tells us who is this Jesus of Nazareth born in a manger in the city of Jerusalem in Israel? Mm -hmm. The Son of God. So now we're going to continue with prayer before we, uh, before we go into our discussion of to, today's question and answer. And I'm going to ask Mother Ola Mae Greer of the Holy Trinity Church of Deliverance, Cary, Illinois, to come to lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. Amen. Let's look to the Lord. Let's go to the throne of grace. Let's bow our heads and go to the throne of grace in prayer. Lord Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes. we mm. come before your presence with thanksgiving. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. We're thanking you today for this opportunity that you have allowed us, <laughs> this place that you have allowed us to assemble. Mm. Amen. To magnify your word. Magnify. Amen. Yes, and to yes. glorify you and to lift you up. Yes, Lord. And to present you to some that don't know you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you said in your word that your word would not come back void. Mm, it would accomplish yes. that that you sent it out to yes, do. Yes, Lord. And we ask you to let fulfill and come in place on today. Bless us and bless everyone under the sound of my voice. Amen. Yes, that we Lord. might accept your word and be doers of it. Yes, and not Lord. hearers only, deceiving our own selves. Yes, Lord. You do this for us. We'll praise you. We'll glorify you. Glorify we'll you. We'll magnify you. Yes, we'll Lord. We'll lift you up. We'll tell men and women, boys and girls everywhere yes, that you did Lord. it all. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Mother Greer, for that fervent prayer. Now, I've read several passages of Scripture, so now I'm ready for the, I'm ready for the question. And uh, the question is, do you know Jesus? Do you? Uh, the, the, the title of, of this program is Knowing Jesus. And Jesus is the Son of God. And my purpose today in presenting this, uh, this lesson is that you would get to know the one who created you. That you would get to know the one who come, who came, who hung, bled, and died for you. The one who now sits at the right hand of the Father making intercession for you. Do you know who Jesus is. Question. So in today's question and answer, we're going to discuss how you get to know who Jesus is. All right. <laughs> uh, he's a mystery. And all mysteries have to be solved. So, right. But I've solved the mystery for you by I read in the scripture. Mm -hmm. 1 Timothy 3.16, I told you who he, who he is. There are other passages of Scripture that I, could, that I could go to that would tell them who Jesus Christ is. One come to mind, uh, Mother Oham, is that uh, 2, 2 Corinthians 5.19. Mm -hmm. Yes. Talking about the, the, the earthly ministry of Jesus of Nazareth. And that tells us that God was in Christ. 
-hmm. reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing our trespasses to us. Mm -hmm. So it is important that we come to know who Jesus Christ of Nazareth is. And I want to say other thing, one other thing, it's important to know what he has said. Very. Very important mm -hmm. to know what Jesus has said. And on that note, I'm going to turn to John chapter, I think John chapter 12. I'm going to turn to John chapter 12. I, I know there are a lot of sacred texts. There are a lot of sacred books that people are studying from. Uh, but I want you to turn to John chapter 12 and go up to about verses 44. I'm only going to read, I'm going to read 47 and 48. John chapter 12 verses 47 and 48. It's, Im it's important that you understand, you know and understand the things that Jesus said while he tabernacled here on earth. Because there's great reward, there's a benefit in knowing and comprehending and understanding the meaning of what Jesus said while he was with us. Verse 47. Now, I'm going to read 44. All right, good. Good. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not only on me, but on him that sent me. So to believe in Jesus, to believe what Jesus said, is to believe in God, to believe what God said. <laughs> and he that, he that seeth me, we're talking about the people that actually saw Jesus. Yes, yes. While he was in Galilee and while he was in Samaria and while he was in Jerusalem and Sidon and Tyre, people that actually saw him. He that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. All right. Looking at him. Looking at him. Looking at him. There was one time when Jesus was, was talking, talking to his disciples, uh, uh, Sister O'Hare, and uh, one of them, uh, uh, Philip or Thomas, mm -hmm. One of those says, show us the Father. And Jesus said, words to these effect, have I been with you so long? Was it Thomas? That, uh, I think that's in for John 14. I can look here and see who he's talking to. Thomas said, that's it, not Philip, Thomas. No, Philip, that's right. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient. It will mm -hmm. satisfy us if you just show us the Father. Yes. And Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? All right. Yeah, you're looking at it. didn't believe. I want to tell you that Jesus has said uh, 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 enough in this New Testament to, uh, to get anyone to heaven that want to go. He said, he said enough. Because when I get down to 47, he's going to tell us so. All right. Now, I'm in, uh, what am I? I'm in John, John 12, 40. I think I stopped at 40, 40, 46. Jesus again is talking. I am come a light unto the world. Yes. That whosoever believeth on me should not abide or should not live in darkness, I mean ignorance of what it takes to gain access to God. That's what it is. Anyone who put their faith and trust in Jesus will know what they need to do in order to gain access to God. Mm -hmm. Access. You, beyond his providential care, but to be able to go into his presence to take your position, your petitions. Mm 